Hello, my name is Bhat Dittakavi. I am a PhD student from IIT Hyderabad in India. Our work is counterfactual based algorithmic recourse for explainable human pose correction. The human pose correction is a very rich area and it is really underexplored. It has very many applications such as fitness, healthcare, sports, expressive arts, even robotics and animation. Professional coaches are expensive. What if you could use your mobile phone camera to monitor your pose and then get that corrected? This is exactly what we are doing. The existing related works are limited by rules and they have small set of uh, poses as well as they're very sensor heavy. We propose care framework and we are the first one to apply algorithmic recourse on pose or any human pose and especially for human pose correction. We not only find the goodness of a given pose, but also recommend actions and actionable interventions using algorithmic recourse. The main area in a nutshell is we perturb the given in this case if you look at here this is the reverse warrior pose we perturb the left shoulder joint as well as right shoulder joint as shown in this incorrect pose and our care system correctly come up with action vectors to correct this incorrect pose for example take the left shoulder which is making a 90 degree angle between the elbow left shoulder and left hip and we we have the corrected pose that is having the correct angle of 38 degrees here and these actionable interventions are minimal in cost as well as the interventions are sparse and that is what we want we want to have minimal cost and then we would like to achieve it here we use counterfactual explanations these are all the example based explanations and our goal is to reverse an unfavorable decision by a classifier, pre trained classifier. In this case, this is the pose classifier that classifies a given pose as a reverse warrior pose or not, or some other pose. And here, using algorithmic recourse, we will do the actionable recommendations. And we know in algorithmic recourse, it's important that our actions come from the feasibility set. Here, this is how we generate the counterfactuals based upon Moti Law et al. And the first term here is the loss for uh, standard uh, prediction versus the ground truth uh, class label. And this is the hinge loss. The second term is important, which is the proximity loss. And here, our goal is ideally to select the counterfactual examples which are closer to the given input in correct pose. And this is what, uh, in this case, uh, the Euclidean distance. And we also have the diversity term. The diversity term is about generating many diverse examples and not from the same density of counterfactual examples. It is our care framework. We will take a tree pose as an input and we have a pre-trained pose classifier and it will have a counterfactual generator generating a bunch of counterfactuals and these counterfactuals could be of this variant wherein this is uh, having the person's right knee bent versus this variant whereas the person's left knee is bent and both are correct tree poses and here the closest counterfactual for the incorrect pose is x1 prime which is the case of uh, the person's right knee bent even though you have this x2 prime far away this is not what we need. We need to make sure the cost is minimal. That is the essence of the algorithmic recourse. And that is what we will achieve here. Here in this work, we have three data sets. The top one is a subset of Yoga 82 data set. We picked 20 poses that are suitable. And we have a Pilates data set here, which has around 32 classes. And finally, we have American Sign Language, which is not to, to do with the uh, total body pose just the hand pose and it has nothing to do with fitness and we would like to see how our method can generalize our evaluation metric is pcp standing for percentage of uh, 
correct poses in a given test set. Here we define a tolerance at a threshold based on two adders. One is the standard mean absolute difference from the ground truth pose to the corrected pose. Uh, these are all the absolute difference of joint angles in our case. And here we have introduced a new metric called weighted pose correction error. It is not enough to go and correct the incorrect joints in a given incorrect pose. It is also important that we don't touch the already correct joints of a given incorrect pose. And if our method corrects already correct joints, we introduce a penalty 1 minus alpha, alpha being very close to 0. And this is how we define weighted PCE. Here we report the PCP metric at uh, various error thresholds varying from 1 to 10. And here we have three data sets. Two of them are fitness data sets Pilates and Yoga 20. And ASL, American Sign Language, is not the human body pose, just the hand gestures. And as you can see, care not only outperformed across all the baselines, but you could also see that it has done really well for ASL, which is an important thing as it indicates that our method is generalizable across beyond fitness into ASL and other domains. It is an ablation study with varying alphas of the weighted PCE. And if you see, the higher the alpha, the lesser the penalty, as penalty is with 1 minus alpha. The penalty that we talked about for correcting the already correct joints. So if the penalty goes down, the performance must go down, and hence you could see that. The PCP values have started coming down. And this is the same phenomenon across all the three data sets, which is in line with our approach. Here is one more ablation study. The three virginal data sets do not come up with incorrect poses. So we have to augment those data sets with incorrect poses by perturbing the virginal poses. Here are the perturbation ranges, and K outperformed all the baselines across all the three data sets for all the different perturbation ranges. Here is an example of the bow pose. And the ground truth pose is this image. And we have augmented the data set to perturb some of the joints to generate the incorrect poses. So here we have perturbed the right knee of this. It's not visually shown here, but the, we perturbed the right knee that has now 178 incorrect joint angle and care has generated the correct joint angle of 134. In summary, we have come up with a novel task of human pose correction using algorithmic recourse. We have come up with an end-to-end -end framework and that is generalizable not only on the fitness data sets but also on the ASL American Sign Language. And we have augmented these data sets to have the test sets of incorrect poses. And finally, we have introduced a novel evaluation metric to judge the quality of the goodness of the correction.